Hi guys, um, welcome to my next video. Um, today I'm going to be doing the I Heart Summer Tag. Um, I first saw this on Ingrid or Miss Glamorazzi's um, YouTube channel. Um, and it's just a load of questions about um, your favourite makeup and things you do during summer. Um, I've got my list of questions here. Um, the first question is um, what's your favourite bronzer for summer? Um, I'm not really a bronzery person because I've just sort of learned to embrace the pale because every time I try and do anything bronzer or contouring I always end up look kind of a bit orange. Um, but I saw this um, new bronzer from Bourjois and it's um, a bronzing primer um, and it's it's like a sort of a mousse type texture and I've heard that it's quite sort of a good, not dupe, but similar to the Chanel, is it Salil de Tan or something? Um, so I thought I'd give it a go. It smells amazing and it's, it feels lovely as well. Um, I'll just do a little swatch on my hand for you. That's the sort of um, colour that it comes out as. Um, and you can either, I think, you can even put it, it's supposed to be sort of a base, so you can either put it all over your face um, first and then put your foundation over the top for a glow or use it on top. I just use it on top because I'm a bit scared to put it all over my face and I've just been using it sort of under my cheekbones and I find it's quite easy to blend um, and it's not like powder, you can go overboard, um, you can just sort of use a little bit at a time and it feels really nice on the face. Um, so that's my favourite bronzer at the moment. Next question is, what's your favourite summer drink? Um, I definitely, during the summer, like typical summery drinks, like um, Pims is one of my favourite. I think that's such a summery drink. I um, also like gin and tonic and also um, sort of when I'm on holiday I love things like daiquiris. I love strawberry or raspberry daiquiris, they're my favourite um, and definitely great for summer because they cool you down as well. If it's sort of a non-alcoholic drink, um, probably, I don't know, something like Fanta Fruit Twist, I love that. That's the summeriest drink in the world. The next question is what's your favourite summer lip product? Um, this um, one I've got here is, these are the YSL um, of the Luxe Sheer Candy lipsticks. Um, this is in the colour, um, oh I don't know, it's number 8. I think it's called Grape Frappe, I'm not 100% sure though, but I'll link it below anyway. And it's a lovely um, sort of purpley um, lilac pink colour I guess, um, but these are not like the um, usual YSL lipsticks because um, it's a sheer can, it's like a, a balm, a really nice sheer balm. Um, I will put it on my hand. As you can see it does come out quite sheer. Um, I'll put some on now and I've just been sort of, this has just been my go-to lipstick because it's got a really lovely wash of colour and I love the purpley sort of tone to it anyway. Um, but it's not too heavy or anything and it's really sort of moisturising for the lips so I've been loving that as well. The next question is um, pool or beach? Definitely pool for me. Um, oh, I do like going, like when I go on holiday I go to the beach sort of like one day but that's just sort of for a little trip, kind of I hate sand, it just gets everywhere like all up stuck up your legs and if you sit on it it's all like on your bum and everything oh I can't stand it so but I do like going to the beach for the sea and the waves but I just can't stand sand so I would rather stay around the pool um because I haven't got to deal with any of that. Next question is your what is your must-have summer styling product um that's definitely and this is probably a popular one um I've got my bumble and bumble and surf spray um I suppose not any, not specifically Bumble and Bumble Surf Spray, but any surf spray is great for summer because um, I often um, wash my hair and then when my hair's damp I'll spray this through and then sort of just let it dry naturally, maybe do a bit of like scrunching and it just gives it like a really nice texture. Um, I don't have to use any heat on it because I hate doing that in the summer because it's hot um, and I just think this is really great. My next question is sunbathing or fake tan. Um, it's kind of a complicated question for me because 
if I'm on holiday or the sun is out in England, I love sunbathing. I love lying there in the sun, reading a book, listening to music. It's like one of my favourite things to do. But on the flip side, I have never ever used a sunbed in my life and don't think I ever will. Um, and then, so fake tan is the other option, I suppose, in the winter in England. Um, but I'm not very good at it. It often ends up streaky. Um, so I don't do it, I'm not like a person who would do it every day, I would just sometimes do it for a night out and generally if I do it's only on my legs because I think they always look the worst when they're pale. If I do use fake tan I always use the um, Rimmel Sun Shimmer Instant Tans. Um, they're really good, like I've never managed to get one of these to go streaky, you just sort of pop a bit um, on a tanning mitt rub it in after your legs have been moisturised and it just gives you a really really nice glow and um, this one is the light one and you can get dark I think and this is one with shimmer in it because I like glitter but um, you can get one that's matte as well for a more sort of natural daytime finish um, and then these just sort of wash off the next day you don't have to worry about them this one isn't but they've also um, recently bought out a waterproof one so you don't have to worry about someone like spills their drink down your leg which has happened loads to me and it makes you panic that you're going to have like streak marks all down your leg um, so I would really recommend this um, I'll just pop a bit out there for you I don't know if you can see that it's just sort of like a brown uh, liquid my next question is what's your favourite summer nail polish um, I picked two um, here, the first one I've got is um, Nicole um, by OPI. This one's You're an Angel, um, and it's such a pretty colour. It's like a bright bubblegum pink, but it has um, loads of pretty gold shimmer in it. I think it's gold and pink shimmer. Um, I'd really recommend maybe googling a swatch of this because it is lovely. I actually managed to pick this up in Superdrug in the UK, which I was so excited about that they actually sold. OPI in a drugstore um, so I snatched this up straight away and it's such a pretty colour it looks lovely on nails or um, toes as well so that's one of my favourites and another one is um, this is sort of the other end of the budget um, is MUA um, this one is pistachio ice cream and these are only a pound is such a bargain it's such a lovely mint colour it applies really well as well for a budget nail polish um, and I've been loving this as a nice like pastel green colour just to have on my nails or sometimes I like having um, lots of different pastel colours on my nails because I just think they look so nice together, it reminds me of ice cream um, Question number 7 is um, have you any summer traditions? Um, I wouldn't say anything specific but we do always make sure as soon as the sun is out um, always down the beach. I'm very lucky to live um, in the east of England, um, really near the coast, so if it is sunny, um, where I, I mean at the moment where I am living, I have literally a five minute walk away from the beach. I'm so lucky. Um, and even when I was living before, we were only about sort of a 20 minute drive away, which is really handy for us. Um, we also like sort of going to the pub, um, sitting outside in the pub gardens and just drinking. Um, with my friends and things so that's another sort of summer tradition that we have but that's about it really favourite summer scent I, I couldn't narrow this down to one so I picked three um, these are like the ones that are the ones that I'm reaching the most for at the moment um, first one that I've got is um, the Body Shop Pink Grapefruit Body Mist this is such a nice daytime scent it's just straight up pink grapefruit there's no high notes top notes or anything else it's just basic scent but it's so nice um, and really fresh and um, sweet and lovely for summer and these are such good value because how much is in this mm, I don't know oh, 100 mils I think it's like £7.50 and they do other ones in the range like mango I think would be lovely for summer I've also got the coconut one um, and things like that I think they do strawberry as well which sounds lovely um, but yeah I'd really recommend that or any of the other scents in the range um, another one that I've been wearing is um, CK1 Shock for her um, this is actually really cheap as well because it's kind of an older scent so you can pick this up for a sort of relatively inexpensively and then um, I'll spray a bit of it oh it's really it's kind of fruity and fresh and lovely I'm not very good at describing perfumes but that's another one I would really recommend um, I've been reaching for it a lot for summer oh it smells so good 
mm, yeah, fresh and fruity, definitely love that one. And the final one I've been reaching for, this is um, one of the Hollister perfumes. Um, this one is Addison and I love the Hollister perfumes. I think a lot of people, I don't know, I haven't really heard a lot of people talking about them. I think a lot of people maybe bypass them when they go in Hollister. Um, but I've had another one of these before, Malaya, and they are really lovely perfumes. Um, and because they are sort of a beachwear shop, they're always really fruity and summery and lovely. This one is... This one's very, very sweet, um, again, like, proper, super sweet, but a lot of, like, fruity smells in it. It's like, you can imagine, like, wearing this on a beach, doing surfing or something. I love that one, so I'd really recommend, like, next time you're in a Hollister shop, checking out their perfumes, because they are really lovely. And uh, the next question is, um, what's your favourite barbecue food? Um, I like all sorts of barbecue food, like burgers and hot dogs and things like that. But something me and my fiance have been loving this year is um, grilled halloumi. Um, we do it um, sometimes just on its own or do it in skewers with chicken and um, pepper. And oh my god, halloumi like grilled is the best thing ever. You have to go out and try some. Um, for those that don't know, halloumi is a Cypriot cheese and it's got a really um, high melting point so you can grill it and it won't sort of melt everywhere like normal cheese will. And it's really salty and weird and rubbery, which sounds really unappetising, but it is the best thing ever. So I recommend you go and buy some and stick it on your barbecue next time you have it because it's yummy. Next question is, um, what's your favourite summer proof products? Um, I've picked two from Urban Decay because I think they're the best at sort of doing things to make your makeup stay in place. Um, I've got the Urban Decay Makeup Setting Spray. This is the all-nighter version. Um, I've only bought this recently, I think it's brilliant. I have really noticed that my makeup is staying in place and not sort of going patchy or anything. I just put this on, um, I put it on first thing before I put my primer on and then I sort of do my makeup to the point of before I'm about to put my powder on and I spray that on and then finish off the rest of my makeup and it seems to really lock it in place. Um, so I've really been loving that. Um, and another one from Urban Decay is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This is brilliant. It like seals your eyeshadow in place, make sure it doesn't budge. I don't have particularly oily eyelids, but um, it really helps all my eyeshadow from creasing. But when because um, when it gets hot, that can just sort of make my eyelids go a bit sort of sweaty, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's really great. My final question is, any summer vacation plans for this year? Um, yes, if you'd asked me this like a couple of weeks ago, I would have said no, I've been really sad. But um, we finally booked somewhere in September when the kids have gone back to school. Um, not, not my kids, just the kids in general. So the holiday prices aren't, um, aren't high, I don't have any kids. Um, yeah, we are going to Cyprus and um, we're going to Paphos for a week, so I'm really excited about that. Expect to see me buying lots of holiday clothes and holiday products in the next few weeks. That's the end of my I Heart Summer video. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, um, give it a thumbs up um, and subscribe down the bottom. Um, and also, um, I tag all of you to do it. If um, I will put all the questions in the description box, so if you want to have a go, um, just go ahead and do it and maybe post your video as a response to mine. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it and um, have a great day. Bye guys. The first question is what's your favourite bronzer for summer? Um, 